I'm doing the research on cycling wheelchair. So cycling wheelchair is a bicycle-like uh, wheelchair system. So many people think that a patient who have disability of lower extremity cannot pedal, uh, but uh, many patients can pedal by themselves. So uh, this kind of person cannot walk, uh, but this kind of person can pedal the cycling wheelchair. So this is a very surprising issue. So, uh, so we'd like, but uh, accurate control of the uh, pedaling is a uh, very difficult. So that uh, we, by adding the robot technology, uh, we can support the uh, moving of the elderly people or the handicapped handicap people in outdoor environment. For example, when the, there, there is a steps or there is an obstacle, the, this wheelchair or uh, another kind of walking support system can stop the, uh, can stop. Or if the, this system can estimate the human behavior or human intention, we can change the function of the robot system. So for example, uh, by using the walking support system, uh, human can stand up uh, based on the support of the wheelchair, uh, sorry, uh, based on the walking support system. So, uh, for example, if the walking support system does not control, the walking support system is easy to move. So in this case, the when humans stand up, so it's a little bit dangerous uh, because uh, this support system moves unintentionally. But uh, if the robot can estimate the human intention, the walking support system can stop in uh, appropriate situations, uh, such as a holding tendency or a sitting situation and so on, uh, so that uh, we can uh, realize uh, several assistive functions and uh, uh, we can improve the performance of the human being.